Hi my loves, how's it going? How are you guys doing? It's finally code orange everywhere and I'm so excited to show you with you guys everything that I have hauled so far. There is a lot of stuff to get through. I'm going to be showing you stuff I bought from Home Bargains, The Range, TK Maxx, HomeSense. There were so many really good stuff this year. Last year I didn't really get the chance to go around and buy as much stuff as I really wanted to or I was, I was a bit too late when it got around to actually buying stuff for um, autumn but this year I've kind of gone early I've seen all the videos on TikTok absolutely loved it and I picked out a whole bunch of stuff I cannot wait to show you guys there's some really really good bits out this year and I'm so happy to see that because I love autumn so much it's my absolute favorite season and I can't wait to share these with you guys so I bought a whole bunch of stuff from Home Bargains I was also really surprised to see they've got a Beetlejuice collection out as well they had a few bits when I went in the other day but I feel like they still got some other stuff coming in so I would like to make one other trip there just to kind of see what they've got got going. But that being said, let's just let's just show you guys. I bought two things from the Beetlejuice collection when I went in. One of them was this mug. Um, oh, it's so cute! It's so cute. I love it so much. I do love green. I love Beetlejuice as well. I thought this was perfect for like Halloween time, like spooky season. Um, I did also buy a similar one from Primark when I went in there as well. But I'll show you that in another video. Oh my god, is that cracked? No, it's not. I just need to, it needs a good clean. Um, but this is really, really cute. They have a few other bits now as well, which I saw on the website. Um, but this is like one of the actual items that I got. And the other thing I bought from the Beetlejuice collection on the day was these socks. Um, I thought they were just kind of cute. And that's kind of all they had when I went in. But I'm hoping to find some more bits, so let's see. And I kind of walked further down to the store and I found all of these really cool things I'm going to show you guys. One of the first things I saw was this like haunted house jar. I love this so much. This is literally what it looks like. It's so cute. It's got like two little pumpkins on it and it's just so nice. I hope you can see that better. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to put some things in here. I'm not quite sure what I want to put in here because I have a few of these like jars I can use. I might put some like sweets in here, maybe some cookies or cakes. I don't know. I don't know. Give me your ideas and what you would kind of use these for as well. Um, I don't just want to use it for decoration because this can definitely be used downstairs in the kitchen somewhere so let's see. I then saw this really cute plate and I was like okay I really need that. So this is like the plate that I bought. Um, this is luckily a microwave and dishwasher, dishwasher safe. I don't really have a dishwasher so that's fine but it's nice to know I can actually use this in the microwave. I don't know if I'm actually going to use it in the microwave but it's still good to know that stuff. So I thought this was really cute. I don't remember the price of this but this wasn't that expensive. I think this is maybe 150 or two pounds but it's quite a nice plate to to use and kind of you know just have around i think i have something similar but a much smaller plate i got last year from i think home bargains or um maybe b m but this is so cute i really had to get this as i went a little bit further down i saw this soup bowl i didn't actually realize it was a soup bowl at the time but this is also really cute so this is what it looks like and it comes with its spoon as well um, which is quite cool. So you can literally do your own little like, you can have your own little mini witchy moment as well, which is really cool. They had a lot of other stuff as well, but I have so many mugs that I bought. So I thought I'd rather than buying another mug, let me buy this because this is quite nice. I saw this and I was like, oh, there's no way I, I just can't like not buy this. Like I have to. This is one of the ornaments that they had. Um, it's so cute. They, they had a pink pumpkin and they had one that had an orange pumpkin, but I feel like I've already got quite a few orangey sort of pumpkins. I thought, let me get some pinks as well to throw in there. And yeah, I just had to bring it home. So that's what this one looks like as well. Um, these I think were like maybe two pounds or 150, something like that. The Home Bargains has some really good stuff in there. And I definitely do want to go in there again, just to have like a quick browse around. They also had these really cute ghost candles. I actually bought a bit too many. I've got like seven in total, but literally that's what they look like um these are the colors that they had and i thought you know what why not why not because they look so good i think next year i'm just gonna have to get like a, a ghost like mold and just make these myself rather than buying these from outside because these are just so adorable and they can make just really good decoration um i would like to maybe burn a few of these but i don't know they were just so cute so i had to get them they were only like 50p and that's quite cheap and cheerful for these so i thought why not they also had a mini ghost hot water bottle and as soon as i saw this it just had to come home because look at that 
look at it it's got its little like hands as well it was really cute they had also a similar like ghost um door stopper and then i just i don't know why i didn't get it but i kind of wish i did but this is literally what it looks like it's so adorable they had some really cute bits this year which i'm genuinely surprised about because i feel like last year was such a flop but again i wasn't really paying that much attention last year so i don't know but this year i feel like there's been a lot more stuff that's like really really cool one of the last sort of like spooky stuff i got from Han bargains was this halloween metal plaque and literally it just looks like this it had this one in white as well and it had like two others i think one of them said like haunted house and there was one other one um but i like this one this comes in like this sort of lighter key color and also white um but this kind of goes a little bit with like my wall so i thought i'll stick this over on top of my desk but let's see i need to get my dad to do that for me because i don't trust myself and the last thing i got from home bargains it's not really like halloweeny but it is autumn so i got this mug and it just says hello autumn on both sides they had this one and had the same cup but just the colors were reversed and i just i just preferred this of the two and they don't want to get two because i have quite a few mugs already like i think i have an addiction and i am so ashamed to show that to you guys but you will see what i mean um later on in this video but this is really cute so i thought why not and this can like stay out for quite some time as well the next place i went into was the range their stuff was all over the place in my local range that i went to um it was a bit hard to find out and figure out what they had what they didn't have so i did have to go around quite a few times but i was able to find a, a few cute little things to share with you guys the, one of the first things that really stood out to me was this like glass um ghost tumbler it just says boon's got loads of the different like types of ghosts on it it was so cute the lady at the till and i were having a good chat and she did say this is a very popular item and people were buying this out this was literally the last one there and i was like hold it because i i need that forget everybody else but i need it so i did buy it it wasn't too expensive i do want to go back and have a look around as well see if they have anything else that kind of like really stands out to me but let's see this is the first item absolutely love it i just i'm so happy the next thing i picked up was this little pumpkin here i don't have anything in this color especially in any of the other pumpkins that i have so i thought okay that's a little bit different let me pick this up too this was fairly cheap as well um this is also one of the last products there i don't know if they just had like a small selection come in or and a lot of the stuff has or the stuff that there has kind of sold out or if they're still waiting to like bring in most of their collections i'm not really sure with that store but i'm gonna assume that they're still waiting to bring in most of the stuff but i did see this and i thought okay i do like it it looks really cool let me just buy this um i'm not sure exactly where i'm gonna put it because i would like to decorate my room first with everything that i have and then i might put a few little bits and pieces around the rest of the house and maybe the kitchen and maybe the living room so let's see but this oh, this is so cute it's just so nice when i say i have a mug addiction i promise you i'm not joking but this is also ridiculous i did see this mug from the range and i got it i think i already have a similar mug though from last year i did like a haul a halloween me type of haul i think i bought something similar from tk maxx but the problem is everything that i bought last year is packed away so i need to take all of that out as well so i can see what i have before i go back to any more like shops even if it's just to browse around because i do not trust myself but this was really nice and i thought okay why not they did have the same one in orange too and at first i was going to pick up both of them but i thought i really don't need two if i am going to get it let me just get one so yeah i got this they had a really cool like soup bowl as well but i, I don't really eat or like have much soup so i didn't bother buying it um but i just saw this and i was like okay that's kind of cute like i can see myself using this very like a lot so yeah this year i really want to like deck out my room with like autumnal stuff because like i said it's my favorite season and i saw another one of these like plush or like pumpkin plushes so i bought this too and it's not a plush but it's one of those like cushiony type of things you can just throw on your bed i thought that'd be really nice to like have my bed made and like have like I don't know like a cushion my pillow a cushion and like a little pumpkin on there um this is one of the ones i bought i might put some of these downstairs as well but let's see um but yeah no i just i don't know i really like this color as well so i bought this one too going around the store like five times or something like that i found these led pumpkins they've got three different ones that were different sizes and i thought that'd be kind of nice as well to have like an led pumpkin that i can either put on my bookshelf or just in my room in different places so like if i don't want to put my like ceiling light on which already just I don't really like it um i can then sort of put like the lights around the rest of my room on and i'll give her like a nice little ambiance and you know just like make it feel a bit more cozy and warm so i picked these up i do need to try these to make sure they actually work the lady said i've got like two weeks to return stuff which i highly doubt i'm gonna return anything but this was one of the things i was a little bit like is it gonna like work or what the last thing i bought from the range was this 
um, Halloween Neon Light. I got the that one. They had a pumpkin and one other one. And I was tempted between this and the pumpkin. And I don't know why, I just decided to pick up the bats. Because I thought, okay, why not? Because this looked really cute. And also, I love purple as well. So this would be kind of cool. I'm also going to put this up on like the back over here. So where you're currently seeing like my palettes and stuff like that. And just like that mess behind me. This is going to go over there. This is something that I also need to test to make sure it's working. But they had three of these different ones. They also had some other really cool mats as well. They had one for like spooky season. They had, they had something that was like £25. But that I felt like was too much for me to spend on lights. For me to like only put it on maybe a few times. um, Because I'm not really going to decorate like the rest of my house. I don't really make much sense. But... I know that there's something I can use in my room and I did actually want to get a light for myself last year but then I just never got around to buying it but I thought this was really cute and I can still keep it on like all year round if I wanted to. Okay so the next lot of stuff is from TK Maxx. Now I bought these at two different times. The first time I went into TK Maxx I bought this mug because I just thought like it's so cute and it really stood out to me and I love the inside of this as well because it's so pretty. This is five pounds. This year, the mugs in TK Maxx have been insanely sick. They are so good. I don't know what TK Maxx is on, um, but the, the things that I've seen this year are so, so, so good. I bought so many mugs. I went into HomeSense as well, and I can't wait to show you guys everything I bought from there. But this is one of the mugs that really stood out to me from TK Maxx, so I bought this one. It's also massive. I was thinking of maybe putting this out, put my makeup brushes in here, because um, I have so many mugs. I'm not really going to use all of them to drink tea in, but let's see what I end up doing with this. But it's like huge, you can have cereal in this as well. <laughs> or like a really, really large cup of coffee if you really needed it. But this was so nice. Honestly, if you love collecting mugs, you should definitely visit TK Maxx because they have some of the best stuff that I have seen so far. And oh my God, obsessed. The second time I went back into TK Maxx, it was just to have a quick browse around because I kept seeing videos that they've got these really cute glasses, but I just never saw them when I was in there, which is so sad. So, however, that being said, I did end up buying a whole bunch of other stuff when I went in there. One of them was this silicone mould. Now, I don't know if you can use this for baking cakes as well, because I've seen this, or if it's just for um, ice, but it was these. And these are just a bunch of like ghost sort of moulds. And I thought, okay, that's really cute. And I really want to bake this year. I love baking. I just... I just don't do it as often as I want to because my family doesn't really eat that much sweet stuff. So I probably end up baking and like asking my family and friends if they want to come over just to have some stuff or like give it to them as takeaway. But these are really, really cute. These come in like a set of two. This is five pounds and I was like, kind of want this. So I might keep one for like ice and I might keep one for like when I'm baking. Cause I think it says, yeah, it says on here that you can also cook with this. So that'd be kind of nice. It's just a bit sad that like when I went into TK Maxx, they didn't have that much stuff in my local TK Maxx. I might go to a different one as well just to see what they have as well. But like, damn, some of the things I've seen online have been insane. Okay, continuing on with the cooking theme, I saw these like, what they called, tongs? Yeah, Um, this was a set of two for four pounds. <laughs> Good, just look at these. These are so cute. I was... As soon as I saw these, I was like, okay, no, I need to take these home. They are so adorable. They had another one, which is white, but the white one had like florals on. And then I think there was one more, um, but I don't remember what that was, but then I really like this, so I got this one instead. Um, these are so damn cute. Like again, like this here, TK Maxx has popped off. It really has popped off. Like some of the things I've seen in there is just amazing. And I think if I could, I would probably end up spending so much in there, but like I had to have some, Kind of self-control but these were the ones that kind of stood out to me so i got these i think i did i slightly decorated my house a few years ago and you know you can get this like window stick on things that i put um i did that like i think maybe two years ago last no three years ago two in 2022 I didn't do halloween because i was not here i was at, like attending a wedding abroad and last year i didn't do it because so many other reasons but this year i'm so excited to decorate like the front window so people know that it's trick-or-treating i feel like it's such a dying thing here in the uk i love that in america and canada they like pop off with the halloween decor it's amazing and so cool like i wish i could do that as well but not many people do last year some of the decorations around was so good but again not as many houses do it anymore which is kind of sad um so i bought these two window decorations one of them was um this switchy one with a few bats and it just says Halloween. I thought I can stick this on one side. 
<laughs> and then I saw these as well and I was like, okay, I kind of want these too because they're just so cute. So that's what these ones look like as well. But yeah, I'm going to stick these up on my main window probably like, sort of like, either at the start of October or maybe like the first week or so, whenever I can remember to do this. But these are just so damn cute and I really want to go back and see if I can find anything else as well. Um, just to kind of decorate like the front. I also have this Jack Lantern sort of like wreath thing that I want to stick up. So maybe like when I decorate like different parts of the house, I'll show you guys as well what it looks like. The last few things I bought from TK Maxx were two plates. Well, plates slash bowls. Um, they're both five pounds each, but this was the first one that I bought. I loved this one because I just thought it was very like spooky, but I love that it was pink as well. And some of the TK Maxx's online, I have seen that they had a lot of like pink sort of pumpkins, a lot of like pink themed stuff as well for Halloween, which I thought was so cute. Unfortunately, when I went into my local TK Maxx, I didn't have that, so I might go to Noah Turnover and see if they have anything there as well. But this was really cute, so I picked this one up. And I also picked up another plate. This is more like autumnal because it's just got like a pumpkin in here. And I thought this was quite nice as well. And this is one of those plates that can kind of go with anything and everything. So yeah, I really like this as well. So I picked this one up too. But that was everything from TK Maxx. And then when I went into HomeSense, guys, you're not ready. You are not ready. I have to say the day I went into HomeSense, they really popped off and they had so much cool stuff in there. And when I tell you, I bought a ridiculous amount of mugs that I did not need, but... They were just so cute. And I mean it when I say this. TK Maxx really popped off with their mugs this year. Last year I went around to find a bunch of things. But they weren't really that great. But I did still pick up a few things. I'll try to link that video down below anyway. But this time around I went into HomeSense. And damn. These things were amazing. The lady at the till I'm not going to lie. She was judging me. Like she was low key judging me. And thinking what the hell. Like she did go to me like oh when is tea time. And I was just like oh I feel so embarrassed coming over. And like picking up all these things. But it is what it is. One of the things I picked up was this blanket. Um, it just looks like this. And when you open the actual blanket, if I can find, find you, this sticker, that's what it looks like. And I thought this was really cute and it'll go like really nicely as like um, a cover on my bed. Because I have single beds anyway, so it's fine. And also sometimes I do get cold and I don't really want to mess up my bed. So I thought this would be a nice thing to just use. I used to have a throw before, but I had to get rid of it. But yeah, so this is so cute and I can't wait to like... I just can't wait to decorate my room guys, honestly. Some of the mugs I bought was like in a set and this is what it looks like. So it's got one massive one and one small one. I think I might take it out of the packaging and wrap it up separately just because that'd be a bit easier. But I really like this because I thought, okay, it's really, really cute. Um, And I saw quite a few people buying these as well. And I was really shocked and saw this because it's kind of like hidden a little bit. And I was like, okay, no, that's really cute. Like I need it. So I bought this um set as well. And honestly, imagine having my own kitchen and like having all this out, like I would love it. Like to my future husband, we need at least one entire double cabinet for my special mugs. I do not care. I'm not having any arguments. I need an entire cabinet so I can put all of my really cool mugs in there. Um, I saw a set of these pumpkins and I was like, okay, that's really cute. And these came in blue. I think they had one in pink and one in blue. The pink one was open and I thought, let me get these blue ones because then we can put this in our living room because it's got like a blue theme in there going on so I thought okay these will be kind of nice to go there so I bought this and I thought this set was really cute because I love the fact that it's got gold in it it just goes perfectly with our living room because you've got the gold and the blue like thing going on as well so I know that I'm gonna be really happy when I decorate that like a small corner of the living room with some of these things so yeah I picked this up as well I'll probably take out and get rid of all this packaging I need to buy containers so I can actually put these things away properly and like really wrap it up when I when it's time to put these away but because they're blue I can I feel like I can kind of have these around for quite some time and they go really nice with the living room like I've said already so I did pick up some pumpkins this was one of them that I picked up this just says boo like this this is quite cute and I was like okay I kind of want this I would like to decorate my bookshelf as well um but also my room with a few different things I feel like this is something I can either decorate my bookshelf with or like my room but you also put it downstairs in like the passive sort of way so let's see but this is so adorable I love that it's got a bit purple in there because it matches like the walls in my room so that's why I'm thinking of putting it putting it in here but I think I need to like plan out how I'm going to decorate my room now as well because I have so much cool stuff I'm not kidding when I say to you guys that lady was low-key judging me on those hills um <laughs> and I I felt so like ashamed but also like full of anxiety but it is what it is I saw a couple of these sort of like drinking cups and I thought okay I really need these um this is one of them that I picked up so this just says in my spooky era this is so cute and I was like okay I really need this 
This one comes with a plastic straw. I don't feel like that's that doesn't sound like it's glass, but this was really cute. I did pick up one more of these. Now I have three of these in total. One that I got from the range and these two. They had some other really cool designs. Um, but I was also running out of space in my hand, so I was like, okay, let me not grab anything else in case anything falls and breaks. So yeah, um, so cute. The other one of these that I got was one that says let's go ghouls and I thought okay that's really damn cute so I had to get this one as well they I'm not kidding when I say this they had some of the most cutest things in there I know I keep saying that but I generally mean that I just had to get this because it was so adorable and I can't wait to use these I literally think after I'm done with filming this I'm gonna like take a whole bunch of this stuff downstairs to wash and get ready to use because I'm obsessed I'm actually obsessed I'm not kidding when I say to you guys I felt ashamed when I bought all of these, but they were generally the most cutest mugs I have seen. Like they really popped off this year. I can just, when I have my own space, I just know that all of these things are gonna be out all year round. But th <laughs> this was the first one that I saw and I picked up. Um, it's a massive jug, but it is really cool. It's got like a pumpkin design here as well, but this is what it looks like. And I love that it was pink as well. And they were branching out to different colors as well. It was nice to see that they, incorporated like pinks and purples as well because I thought that was kind of nice too. And then I saw this mug and I was like, I kind of really want this and I can't say no to myself. It says you are beautiful and it's got like a little ghost on the handle. I thought, okay, that's quite unique as well to have. So I got this one too. I'll just like zoom in for you guys here. But no, like, <laughs> I don't know if I necessarily just drink tea or coffee out of this, but I can see myself also just having cereal from this because why not? Because um, it is big enough to have cereal on here. I then picked up another one that was very similar to that and this one just says trick or treat and it has a bat on it and again these were just so cute so I had to pick this up as well. Okay, I saw this one and I was like I can't even say no to myself because I know that I'm going to be kicking myself if I don't buy this because I know I will regret this if it sells out and I don't see this again. Are you guys ready? Oh my god okay so look at that. That's so Barbie-esque. I love it so much. This is so adorable. I would have loved to buy a lot more mugs, but generally the stuff that I wore already, I was getting so judged for and I was like, okay, let me not embarrass myself even more. Okay, then I had like, I think I bought a few mugs that were more like just autumnal. So there was this one, this just says full feels and that's it. And then on the inside, it looks like this. And I thought, okay, that's really cool and unique. Um, I don't even know if you can, that's better. So that's what it looked like inside. And I thought, okay, that's kind of cool. So I picked this up as well. Um, but this is quite a nice one to have. And then I saw this one and I was like, okay, I just can't say no to myself. And this just says, let's get spooky. And it's got a really cute like ghost on here, but the inside of this mug as well is just so cute. I hope that picks up on what that looks like on the inside. The last mug I picked up was another like more autumnal one. And this just says warm and cozy, which is definitely the theme that I'm trying to go for this year. And that's what it looks like. So it's speckled like the other one, but then on the inside, this one has like a bunch of different mushrooms inside. And I thought that was also really cute and it's very like autumnal and it'll be nice to not just have like very like Halloween-y type of mugs but just some that also reflect autumn in general as well. So those are all like the mugs that I got and then I've bought a few other things as well. So I bought this basket um because I thought okay that's really cool. I can kind of use this all year round in my room and I'm thinking of using this as the basket to hold like my blankets if I don't put it on my bed. I can then at least roll, roll it up and put it in here. And also I'm going to make myself a boo basket because no one, no one's son's going to make it for me. So I'm going to make one for myself. But I really like this because one, it's very sturdy and I really like the shape of this. It can also fit easily into like my room as well. And it goes with the furniture that I already have. So it's not going to clash with what I own at the moment. So that's why I really like this. This I think cost me 20 quid. No, it was 15 pounds. Um, they had a lot of other options, but this was just stood out to me more because I like the shape of it. It just, it's a little bit more like thinner. Um, because a lot of the other ones they were like rounder but i like this because it's a bit more rectangular round i really wanted to get like a really cool cushion but they didn't really have many so i saw this one and i picked this one up it just says boo and i can't wait to like change my bedding and kind of stick this on there this was quite a nice one this cost 20 pounds um so it's a lot but this was really cute i think i want to go back to tk maxx to see if i can find any other cushions because i saw that they had some really nice ghost ones but when i went into home sense they didn't have any that day so I want to make one more trip. I also need to return something that I got from there because it, the light that it's a pumpkin with the light inside, but the light's broken. So there's somebody like 
and I don't want it because it's just gonna like my OCD is gonna kick in full again it's gonna irate me so I'm gonna go return that and when I do I'm gonna check out if this got if they have any other pumpkins and stuff the last two things that I got from TK Maxx were a bunch of pumpkins and these surprisingly are both pink but the, these are glass so they weigh quite a bit this was one of them this was so nice I was like okay I really like that and I like the fact that this is like pink it's a bit different um so it'd be nice to like mix different types of like textures colors like finishes in whenever I decorate my space so yeah I had to pick this one up and this was nine pounds they had quite a few others like this they had loads of different designs as well this year so that was really nice to see and then the other pumpkin that I bought was also pink but this one it was speckled and I really like this one too this is smaller than the other one but I still really like this because I thought okay that's going to be quite different and it'll go really nicely with the space I'm trying to create or at least I hope it will so yeah this is not everything that I bought from home since I really went crazy when I went in there um <laughs> but it is what it is I was really looking forward to finding some of the more like pink types of like pumpkins or like the pink cushions the pink ghost cushions that they have Unfortunately, they just didn't have it when I went into the store, but I do need to go back and return one item. So I'm going to see if I can find anything else when I do go in to return the item. But I'm not kidding when I say this. I feel like all the stores this year have really went off. They popped off. They have some of the best stuff available. And I'm genuinely ecstatic because, like, okay, like I see you. I just wish makeup brands did the same thing. But this is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I will definitely be doing a video where I decorate my room and I'll show you guys in the, the space I create for myself. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned, subscribe and follow me over on TikTok because I post a lot of other content over there too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.